Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be talking about system and email marketing. Even better, this is going to be a tool that allows you to use a free autoresponder, whether that's just for email marketing, affiliate marketing, or pretty much anything you want to do. If you'd like to follow along, they do come with a free plan where you can actually use their autoresponder, landing pages, sales funnels, and so much more. The link will be down in the description, so you can click on that, sign up for free if you want to follow along. So where I am in this, I'm going to be under emails and creating a new campaign. This is going to be an autoresponder that can send out emails at any specific time you want. For me, it might be daily, every two days, every three days. It really depends on what you want to do. I'm just going to call this email autoresponder description if you want to add it in. Not necessary, but let's click on save campaign. And from here, we want to click on the actual email autoresponder name. And from here, we can start adding emails. This is where the autoresponder aspect comes in, where we're going to send our first one immediately when someone signs up. Then if you want, you could add another one a day later, two days later, three days later, and so on and so forth. Let's click on add an email. Okay, so here we are. We have our sender name, obviously your sender email address, and subject line. If I'm giving away some type of free download, I like to have something that says click here to access your free download or click here to access what you requested, something along the lines of that where it's also a call to action. I've noticed that the click-through rate is always extremely high, especially for the fact that people are going to the inboxes strictly looking for what they downloaded. So that's just an example. Let's click on create. And from here, here is where we can work our magic. But what I will do is go through and quickly kind of do a template, uh, tell you what to talk about, just to give you some insight on what to put here so you don't have writer's block and you're like, crap, what do I write? So give me a second, I'll be right back. All right, so here's a very quick template when it comes to your first email follow-up. It says, let them know your name, congratulate them for opting in, give them access to their freebie, let them know how often you'll be sending out emails, talk about the benefits you'll be covering in future emails, sign off, and of course, a possible cliffhanger. So allow me to kind of give you one off the top of my head and talk about the reasons why I have these in here. Uh, not only do I want to show you how to utilize email marketing with System, but also give you some actionable tips and tricks when it comes to actually creating your emails, of course. So let them know your name. Hey, my name is James Kenzanala. Thank you so much for opting in. You're getting this email because you requested to download a free video training based upon affiliate marketing. You can click here to download that immediately. Go through it, watch it. I know you're going to love it. Aside from that, I want to let you know that I'll be sending out an email every two days. So when you see a email from James, it's going to be about affiliate marketing. Make sure you open that, check it out and digest it. There's going to be a lot of valuable tips. Aside from that, you're going to also learn about getting organic traffic, how to increase your conversions, how to generate leads create email auto automation uh, autoresponders follow-ups and so on and so forth you're going to love it that's about it make sure you download your free gift thank you so much for signing up and i'll talk to you soon p.s make sure you really keep an eye out for my next email i actually have an additional bonus that i don't want to tell you what it is but you're just going to have to see the the email normally you'd have to pay 97 dollars for it but for you it's going to be completely free so i'll see you in two days Okay, and that's just a quick run over of like what an email would sound like. Obviously, it doesn't have to be too many words. You can kind of cut it down. That's just off the top of my head. But that's a very quick template that'll give you an idea of what you can utilize in terms of your first email. I talk about this. Let me talk about it now. Uh, let them know your name. If it's not there, it's going to be there. But just in case, like if they know who you are, it's cool. It's like a home. Congratulate them for opting in. Sometimes people forget, okay? They enter their email and they forget to check their inbox. They're like, did I sign up for this? Is this spam? You want to let them know why they're getting this email so they can get that reminder. That's the reason why I have them there. Then immediately give them access. So even if they don't remember, they can click on it and then it might ring a few more bells, okay? I like letting them know how often I'll be sending out emails so there's no like, why are you sending me an email every day? Well, because I told you I would. If they don't like it, they can unsubscribe. You know what I mean? It's it's upfront stated that you're going to be sending them emails. So there's no surprises in terms of that. Then, of course, talking about the benefits, that'll help them increase your open rates. Because if you say in a future email very soon, I'm specifically going to be showing you a case study about how I got, I don't know, 100,000 clicks to my specific links, which resulted in XYZ. If you mention like juicy topics like that, someone's going to be like, I really want to read that. I want to see that it's going to allow them to hopefully open your emails up more and of course digest what you have to offer signing off and then of course i put ps you don't have to use this but a possible cliffhanger get them anxious or you know wanting to read and open your next email like i talked about maybe you have an extra bonus maybe you have a case study whatever it's going to be that's just an extra way to help increase your opens for your next email so when you have something like that you want to click on save and publish and of course, I like doing zero, okay? Delay before sending email. We don't want any delays. This is the first email, so I like it like that. You don't need to put anything there if you want. You can really change that around, but uh, especially for the first email, make sure that's right away. Let's click on publish. 
And there we have it. Okay, so now that that's set up, all you would need to do is add an email and it would go next. You know, you could do that 24 hours later, or you could do one every 24 hours, one every two days, but that's the process of setting up an email autoresponder. Now, allow me to show you how to connect it. I'm gonna go to funnels real quick. And I have one of my email funnels here that I just created specifically for this example. So allow me to show you what it looks like. I'm gonna go into editor. So I want to make sure that you have these specific aspects set up. So we have email right here. When you click on that, it's going to be input type email. That means it matches up with someone adding their email. The most important part here is you want to click on the button. And what you want to do is send form. Send form means that's going to allow them to sign up for your specific campaign, or at least that's half of it. Okay. We don't want any of those. Send form is the one we want here. And what you can do is go to the next step. If you have a two step funnel, like if you have a thank you page, you're going to want to go to the next step. But if you want to say send them to a specific offer, like if you want to put in your, say, like a ClickBank affiliate link or any affiliate link, that's where it would go right there. But given the fact this is a two step funnel, I'm just going to go to next step. So I'm going to click on save. And let's go back. So making sure all that's set up. Now we go to automation rules. And what we do is add rule, funnel step form subscribe, click on that. And now we do add action. And what we can do is whenever someone subscribes to a campaign, or this is the campaign we want, excuse me, let's go to email autoresponder. That's the one we just created and save rule. So there we go. Now that is perfectly set up. Whenever someone enters in their email, let's open this up. And keep in mind, this is just a random example. Like I just threw a thank you page together just so I can show you. Give me one second. I'm going to add in a random email for you. Like I said, a random email for you at AOL.com. So what's going to happen when I click on send me the video training, it's going to go to the random thank you page template that I created. And I'm going to get the lead at the same time. And that email is going to go out immediately. So let's and there we go. Thank you. You'll be the first to know about company news, helpful tips and contests. So just one thing I, I went back before. I'm not sure if you got to see it. Uh, my squeeze page was for some odd reason down below this. You want to make sure you have your squeeze page first and then your thank you page second, if that's how you're going to be setting it up. But overall, that's how you set it up when it comes to email marketing. From there, you can obviously keep continuing on with the autoresponder aspect. That's going to be more of the automated way where you put in your emails and they get dripped out every certain amount of days. Or you can send newsletters, which are also the same thing as broadcast, where you just want to send out to a bunch of people all at once. It's really up to you. But thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps you out when it comes to email marketing. The cool thing about System is they do have a lot of free stuff, including landing pages, sales funnels, and of course, email marketing. Uh, so it's good if you want an email autoresponder just for email marketing, affiliate marketing, or many other things. Once again, the link is down below where you can actually test it out for yourself and just follow along with the steps that I used and generate some leads and do some email marketing. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And that's about it. I'll see you in my next video.